Today I came here to have a small discussion regarding how to revise your entire syllabus in 30 days. All of you keep on asking me in different forums and in my live class, now there are 30 days left, how to revise the entire JE syllabus. So today is 6th and your JE exam is from 9th of January. So approximately 30 days are left. So you have to complete the entire syllabus, entire revision you have to wind up in just 30 days. In this year, the JE is conducting their exam in four different days. That means there are eight sessions, so eight different papers for different type of students. So this is the first change. Now, coming up to online and offline exam. The online testing start from year 2012, but the number of students who are appeared from 2012 to 2018 are very less. But this time, all most all students of our country are going to write the online test. So you have to first understand the difference between the strategy of online testing and offline testing. Why I am talking about the strategy? See, almost all students who are going to appear for 2019 JE came to know that the testing is online in the month of, I think, September or October. That means till that day, almost one and a half year, they have practiced offline mod. They used to see the questions, solve it and then get the answer. Now suddenly the process is entirely changed. Now you have to see the question in the board and you have to rough down and then again see the keyboards, right? So th 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 there is a difference between this application, right? So you have to do a lot of practice for online test. So this is the first part. Coming up to revision. There are two types of learning. When you are learning a subject, that means when you are in the class 11, there are four stages of learning. The first stage, what is the first stage? First stage is learning. That means you are taking the lectures, writing it down. Second thing is understanding, learning, then understanding, then memorizing the things, then testing. So these are the four parts. In this part, whenever there is a doubt, you go to a teacher and solve your doubts. But in the revision of last 30 days, this method will not work. Now, you have to change the strategy. So, what are the steps that you have to follow? Before proceeding to the steps, a very clear thing is that the revision strategy is not going to work. If you are 12 studying, if you are 12th, the revision model is different. If you are 12th pass, the revision model is different. So, I am coming up to a conclude and conclude way in which the revision model for both the students remain constant. What does remain constant mean? As we have talked about, when you are learning the first step, first step the learning, then understanding, then memorizing the concept and then testing. So coming up to the revision part. How to revise in these 30 days? How to utilize the each and every day? What to do? So according to my view, these 30 days you have to follow three steps repetitively every day. Step one. Mind map. Prepare your mind map of the chapter. Step 2. Write down the short notes of that entire chapter. Step 3. Do objective question at least 10 to 20 of maybe out of that 10 to 20 you can able to take 7 questions from previous year and 3 questions from your module and the books which you have already. Again repeating. In 30 days man, aapko sabse pehle kya karna hai? Har chapter ka ek mind map banana that my mind map cannot be of 2 pages. 1 page. जिस में सारे इक्वेशंस हो, उसके अगले पेज में उसी चैप्टर के शॉर्ट नोट्स आप प्रिपेयर कीजिए। शॉर्ट नोट्स में आपको छोटी-छोटी चीजें लिखनी जो आप भूल जाते हो उस चैप्टर का। आप एक टारगेट करके चलिए कि भी एक दिन में आपको 10 टू 12 चैप्टर्स के माइंड मैप, शॉर्ट नोट्स और 10 से 12 Let's say you have a module of your coaching, which coaching you want, you have a module that you have, which you have practiced, or you have a booklet, or which numerical you have solved, you have books. Take that booklet, open the chapter of atomic structure, let's say example of atomic structure, first topic, make the mind map, write down the short notes in one page, read the mind map and short notes, open the exercise randomly and do solve five questions. Similar exercise with the previous year question. Now, do not try to learn the new things. Aap nahi chijo ko ki koshish mat ki Koi topic aapka agar weak hai, to mind map, शॉर्ट नोट्स बस ये दो काम आपको करने हैं आप उसको सीखिए मत कोई भी नई चीज इस मोमेंट में आपको सीखना नहीं है आपको जितनी चीजें आती हैं उन्हें वाइंड अप करना है 
तो माइंड मैप एक इंपॉर्टेंट टूल है शॉर्ट नोट दूसरा इंपॉर्टेंट टूल है क्वेश्चन टेन टू फिफ्टीन ईच चैप्टर का थर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट टूल है नाउ लेट से यू हैव थर्टी डेज एंड इन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव डेज यू हैव डन दीज एक्सरसाइजेस आप इसको एक्सरसाइज को कंटिन्यूसली करते हैं नाउ इन द फिफ्थ और सिक्स डेज यू विल फाइंड दैट यू हैव ऑलमोस्ट कंप्लीटेड थर्टी और फोर्टी चैप्टर्स गिव वन डे एंटायर फोर्टी टॉपिक अब आप इन चार पूरे के पूरे 40 टॉपिक्स को एक पूरे दिन का टाइम दीजिए फिर से पूरे टॉपिक के माइंड मैप और शॉर्ट नोट्स 40 टॉपिक्स के पढ़िए और उन 40 टॉपिक्स के क्वेश्चन को इमीडिएटली सॉल्व कीजिए कम से कम दो दो क्वेश्चन तो एक एक चैप्टर का जरूर कीजिए गो फॉर द मॉक टेस्ट और फिर मॉक टेस्ट में जाइए नाउ वट विल बी द इफेक्टिव प्लानिंग इफ यू आर गोइंग टू कंप्लीट द माइंड मैप शॉर्ट नोट एंड क्वेश्चन विद इन फिफ्टीन डेज ऑफ योर एंटायर सिलेबस दैट मीन टिल सेवनटीन और ट्वेंटी ऑफ डिसंबर दिस एक्सरसाइज मस्ट बी कंप्लीटेड That means you have mind map, you have practice questions, you have short notes of entire topic, and you revise entire thing. So, अब आपके दिमाग में आपके पूरे उसमें सारी चीजें clear होंगी कि ये चीजें हैं. I am not saying that you are going to be expert in the particular topic in these fifteen days. No, I am telling that if you have spent one half year to physics, chemistry, and maths, let us revise, let us concise these entire topic. अब आपको इस fifteen days में बस उसको concise करना सीखना नहीं है. Now. Rest 15 days. Give at least 10 to 20 full mock test for three hours. Different platform, my grade up ke platform, my bhot sare mock test and give that mock test. Do not increase your doubt. Aapke bhot sare doubt aayenge is moment pe. Bas us doubt ko clear karne ki bhot jaldi baaji mat kijiye. Relevant hai to kisi book se dekh lijiye. Bhot jada time spend karne ki jaruri hai. That means try to focus 80 percent of your time to revise the entire syllabus rather than to learn the new things. I hope it is clear to all of you. For 12 studying, I want to add one more thing. Jin bachcho ka 12 studying hai, they have to focus in their NCERT books if they are in the CBSC board. Ya ap apne board ke us board ke books ko focus kijiye. Nayi kitabey aap bilkul mat padiye. Us NCERT ke books ko padiye. Chhada se time usko dijiye aur hi process ko follow kijiye short notes and mind map ka. Aur apne board pre board uski bhi parallelly preparation kijiye. Allocate your time in such a way that. You will give at least fifty percent time for J mains and rest fifty percent time for your twelfth board. So I hope it is clear and you are going to make your short notes, mind map, and few questions, and it will be a highly effective revision plan. Thank you.